Professor Quill. T Today we'll learn how to p protect ourselves against the dark magic with the flippendo spell. Ah, uh, here we go, watch. watch my wand. So he does that and then you got to follow it. The mouse button and repeat the button. Release the button when you're done. It's really annoying, but you know. Uh, oh, fuck. Oh, that was terrible. If I get more than 50, I'll be surprised. Okay, 81. Now, next one's going to be about 65, I think. So, there's like four to five of them. Wow, I just realised there's an advertisement going on in the background. Um, hang on a sec. I might have to just pause really quickly. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Uh, let's continue, shall we? Alright, here we go. Okay, faster, faster. Alright, let's do it. Come on, come on. Oh, that is really good, actually. Oh, shit, no, nope, fucked it up. Okay, ugh. Like I said, I really hate this one. This one's just really annoying. Oh, no, it wasn't, because... You know, I don't know. It might have been okay. Let's try again. Go on, Mr. Potter. Try again. All right, come on then. I want. Oh shit! I think mouse sensitivity doesn't really help me out much. Oh, just did it. But that is terrible. That was terrible. The house with the most points at the end of the year wins the house. Yeah, that's nice. 15 points for okay, good. We've got 30 already. That's good. Let's try again. Oh, I hate doing this. Oh, well, that just really fucked me over. Yep. There's a huge chunk missing there. Oh, that was terrible. I failed it. Okay, yeah, like I said, it's much easier on a PlayStation. See, three out of four, so we pretty much we're quite low on house points now. Splendid. You may now enter the Flipendo challenge to practice the spell. Follow me, Mr. Potter. That was a bit of a disappointment. Okay, you're about to see something. Okay. So we got what, thirty? That's pretty good. Hold down the mouse button to aim the flippendo spell. Release the button to cast the spell. T -t Try it on that the barrel. Okay, I will. One second. Watch. Watch this. See, look. 30, 33 already. How do they get 33? That's impossible. It's like saying you have to make sure, make sure you get all of them right, otherwise, you know, you're screwed. Alright, so here you go. This is how it works. Flippendo. Use it. It's kind of like a knockback move. It's too bad. Uh, it's actually I think, hidden here. No, okay. It said um, at the beginning it got to find three hidden rooms. Ooh, that's gonna be fun. Uh, this way, and then we guess it's gonna be down here. It's gonna say Potter. Why don't you do this? Yeah, here we go. Not surprised. I am not surprised by this. This does not actually surprise me. And use it on other things as well. Yes. Holy shit. Ah, uh, I promise that I wouldn't swear, but this game sometimes for children. I will admit, you know, it, it really makes me think. Holy crap, my my childhood was too easy. I really get that feeling now. Kind of like God, my childhood was easy. I mean, look at this crap. Do it blindfolded. Holy crap. Uh, hang on, can I jump up there? I really doubt I can. I should be able to technically, but. Eh. But, um, yeah, I, it's, all this, the, these levels are just too easy, in my opinion. Way too easy than they should be. You know, it's like they should be a little bit more difficult, but they're not, and it's kind of annoying, because I kind of feel like, you know, like I'm being patronized. I don't know if I'm the only one who feels this way, but I just get that feeling. I'm kind of like, ugh. you know, just just don't patronize me, game. Don't 
blowing patronise me, you know, oh, you've done really, really well. Oh, come on. Anyone could do this. Maybe I'm the only one who feels this way. You leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think, you know. But, um, I truthfully think that these games are way too easy for their own good. Oh, look, here we go. Oh, Headless Nick. Okay, he's fine. I, I don't Hello, mind him. Harry Potter. I am nearly Headless Nick, the Gryffindor house ghost. Now, this is a save game book. When you touch it, your game will automatically be saved. The game will restart from this point if you faint. You can also load a saved game from the main menu. Yeah, the usual basics. Goodbye. Uh, yeah, like I said, it, you, it needs to explain everything. And I'm just going to, like, go around, break everything first. And, okay, now I'm going to walk on it. Thank you. Alright, so... Oh, come on. You do actually have to use your mouse, I reckon, but um, you don't have to. You can you can technically play this entire thing on keyboard, but uh, I don't know. I like the idea of aiming with my mouse, even if it is really, really bad. Alright, let's do that. Um... Oh yeah, uh, this is a bonus. There you go. Um, get all these. And... Thank you. And this should open, which gives us an extra star, which I think every star that we collect, whether it's an extra or not, is... Um, it goes towards um, house points. So it's always best to go around and try and find all of them. Here we go, what are you going to say? Cast your flippendo spell on this block to knock it out of the way. Oh, because a big sign on it for the spell wasn't a dead giveaway, but hey, thanks. Thanks for the uh, bit of advice. Okay. Eeh. Oh. So, I don't really know how I feel about this game. It just feels a bit too easy, but it could be just the fact that, you know, back then, you know, games and everything were a bit, you know, taboo. Not a lot of people actually used them. Not a lot of people play games. This is a very disturbing thought, actually. Hmm. Yeah, m more people were too interested in going outside. I mean, ugh, who does that? Ugh. <laughs> yeah, that makes no sense to me either. So don't worry, gang. Don't worry, guys. I even I don't get this. It's like what the hell? Oh yeah. Um, do that. One over here. Yeah, I'm doing it all for this. No, not. I don't feel this as well. Um, I don't know if that is the right... Yeah, this isn't, this isn't the right way to go, but it's an extra, so... You want to pick it up. You do want to pick it up. That means we've got four out of five already. Good start. Oh, has he done? And that's five. Okay, now we've got to do this bit. Which is always fun. Because if you don't do your jump precise, you can easily fuck up. Jump over. Jump over. And you got that open that up, which I think is another secret, so let's see if we can... Get in! Oh, just. <laughs> just. Okay. Uh, do you want to come over? Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back, my boy. Come back, my boy. Okay. Wait. Now. Could you know, that's not creepy to hear when you're in a puzzle kind of game. Do that, and I think, yeah, that's a bonus right there. Yeah, we want to go back in there. So, instead of this way where it goes, okay, you want to go off now? No! I want to go back here. Okay. 
This just feels weird playing Harry Potter after all these years. I kind of feel like, you know, maybe I shouldn't. I should, could be doing something better, you know, like finishing off my other Let's Plays. But, yeah, you know, I kind of... <laughs> it's like, I said to myself, oh, I'll do the Harry Potter challenge, yeah, because some of the Harry Potter games I haven't actually played. And I thought to myself, oh, this will be fun, you know, it be fine. Nothing to worry about, I'm sure that, you know, I'm sure I'll, I'll play and have a lot of fun. And now I'm already like, why did I say that? I don't want to be playing this anymore. Can I play something else? Ugh. It's a horrible feeling. Oh, shit. Um. Yeah, it's just not pleasant. It's not pleasant at all. Oh, there you go. That was a point. Alright, and, ugh, I hate these ones. 